Hello, hello, welcome to my channel. It's been a long time since I've done a sit down and talk video and I had a topic in mind that's been, um, yeah, that's been on my mind um, for a while and uh, I feel like not many people actually talk about that. So honestly, I don't have anything particularly planned on what I'm going to say for this video. I'm outside on my balcony. So the, the background's not the best, but I just really wanted to, I've been postponing making videos because I feel like I don't have a nice spot to make those videos and then I doubt myself and all this stuff. So I'm, I'm just doing it. Okay. I'm just doing it. So <laughs> let me know, give me feedback, let me know what you'd like me to talk about. Um, but today I want to talk about self care and healthy habits and if you follow me on any of my social media platform and even on YouTube my uh, thumbnail or not my thumbnail but my header says um, self-care in it so you know that that's something I'm passionate about and uh, I'm actually creating a 12-week course called happy habits where I help people implement healthy habits and self-care so if you're interested uh, you can go on Instagram or on my Facebook page and ask me about it. And if you want to sign up, just let me know. So anyways, a lot of, I've been seeing a lot of like influencers and personal trainers and a lot of people in the health uh, industry and I guess just people in general, but everyone is talking about self-care and implementing healthy habits which I do a lot too so you know not shaming anyone for that but I think there's a lack of conversation or not many people are talking about the fact that it's a privilege to be able to implement healthy habits and it's a privilege to be able to implement self-care and they're different but also they can be one and the same so sometimes I'll use the terms like interchangeably English is my second language. We're just going to go with it. <laughs> you know what I mean. Um, so yeah, I feel like not many people talk about how it's actually a privilege to practice self-care. And let me explain why. So if someone is like, for example, a single mother with like th three children that's like has to work like two jobs just to, you know, make ends meet. Well, Practicing self-care or trying to implement healthy habits is very difficult in that, like what, what about the time? You don't have any time. You might not have enough money because doing that costs money. Buying fruits and vegetables, uh, buying enough ingredients to follow a recipe, all of that costs money. Having enough money to make different meals every day having enough money to get a gym membership or to buy equipment or to um, I don't, just you need money for everything honestly and yeah for sure you can do a few squats and a few push-ups in your living room but sometimes you just don't know how to move your body um, properly and you want support but you can't have that and yeah sure going for walks is great and going for runs or whatever but you also need proper footwear you need the time so if you're already working like I'm working two jobs right now and like I am struggling to find time to exercise and like I know some people have like very like I, I'm not saying this to like pity myself or anything I know a lot of people have like uh, very like worse situations you know they work longer hours than me and they um, work more days, all that stuff. But I'm just kind of using myself as an example, but like I work six days a week, uh, two jobs, and I'm having a hard time finding time to exercise because you're already spending so much time at work. And then when you get home, you know, you try to make yourself a meal, you're um, trying to relax too. Like, I don't know, when I come home, I. <laughs> I try to, I have so little time to relax because I still have to take care of my dog and do some cleaning around the apartment. And I do live with my um, partner, James. So that helps a lot. You know, I have help when it comes to that, but some people don't even have that. So, and it's just like, 
I'm having a hard time finding time to exercise. So a single mother that has three kids and working two jobs and like sometimes even like 12 hour days, like it's hard to find time to exercise. And sometimes you'll hear people say like, well, you just have to be dedicated and you just need to really want it. Nah, I don't think so. I feel like a lot of people want that. They just don't have the time and the resources to do it. And I feel like if we encourage self-care and healthy habits and all that stuff without taking into account that it's hard for a lot of people, um, especially if you have like some type of disability, mental health issues, chronic illness, chronic pain, those are all things that really get into the the way of implementing those things because one like having a chronic illness and again I'm speaking from experience but it's exhausting I feel exhausted all the time so you know for me to cook my meals every day or to exercise and I was giving this example which I think maybe some people with chronic illnesses or can relate or maybe uh, mental health issues as well but you know I, I always say like I used to have this much energy and then working out would take like maybe this much but I still had all of this but now I have like this much energy and then working out will take up like <laughs> this so I'm left with like just this much energy um, so yeah of course I like moving my body and I walk my dog and you know I don't have to justify myself but I, I'll move my body when it feels good for me and when I have the energy, because sometimes I barely have enough energy to get through the day. So if I don't have enough energy to just get through the day, why would I kind of add exercise on top? And yes, you could say, you know, exercise will give you energy and so on. But, you know, every case is different. And I think every person has to kind of make that decision in that moment, right? Like, is exercise going to make me feel worse at the end? or better so that's kind of like how you can kind of gauge it but again it all comes down to the resources you have do you have money do you have time do you have someone to help you around the house so that you can do your exercise and there are a lot of factors do you live in a neighborhood where you know going outside for a walk is maybe not the safest or do you live in an apartment so every, you know, a, an apartment where the walls and the floors seem to be so thin that you can't even do, make a, a little bit of noise. So, you know, doing push-ups or squats or whatever might not be the best because it makes noise and then you get complaints and then you have the chance of getting evicted. So I could go on and on and deliver and give more and more examples, but I think um, you kind of get it. But I just think it's been frustrating to see all these messages from people who have a lot of privilege, um, including me, talking about those things, about self-care and healthy habits, as if people aren't already trying to implement those things. Like, oh, just do it. It's really, it's just a matter of prioritizing and you just have to, it's necessary. So you just have to do it. And it's like, no. A lot of people just don't have that, the resources or the opportunity to do that. And it's not because they don't want to, it's because they can't. And they're not making excuses, they just literally can't. And I think that's really important to acknowledge when we talk about implementing self-care. And of course, if you can do it, do it. It's good for you. It's, we need to implement more. And this video is not about not implementing healthy habits of course like I have a, a program about it and I talk about it all the time but I just want to bring up this conversation because I think it's important and not a lot of people talk about it and I want to talk about it more hence why I'm making this video because yeah and again I'm not saying that uh, you shouldn't implement healthy habits but not everyone has the same abilities to do so and yeah, now I think I'm just rambling. I think I kind of said what I wanted to say. Just raise awareness around that. And I think personally, I'm just gonna be careful about how I talk about it. 
and just acknowledge that, you know, I think also we have this tendency to think that, you know, for your self-care and your healthy habits, they have to be like, oh, I'm going to do it three times a week. And it has to be on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and there's no exceptions. But I think if we were a little bit more flexible with ourselves, and let's say you do deal with a chronic illness, and one week you just don't feel good, and you're feeling exhausted, and you're having a flare-up, or you're just not going well. Well, you can't expect every week to be the same. Sometimes work will be worse and maybe you'll work more hours or you know there's just a busy time at work and you can't necessarily expect yourself to constantly follow the same type of routine every week every day will be different so i think that instead of preaching for i might mess up this word but i'm gonna try it anyways rigidity instead of being like rigid with your um your plans well, maybe you can be a little bit more flexible with yourself and planning ahead, it might be a good idea, but also being flexible when things don't quite work in the moment, you know? So, you know, I'm all about self-compassion and all that stuff. And I think we should show ourselves a little bit of self-compassion and we have this pressure to always kind of be doing something. And so taking a t- some time to not do anything is really good sometimes, which where co- self-care comes into place. And by the way, self-care doesn't have to be like baths and uh, essential oils and journaling and all that stuff. Sometimes it's just sitting in front of the TV and doing nothing at all. That can be self-care sometimes and you shouldn't feel guilty for that. And that's if you have a TV right so maybe it's sitting in front of a book that you got from the library or um it's just you know self-care looks different for everyone and i think we forget that sometimes and again we're all constantly kind of we're just very like it has to be this way and i think it's a societal thing we like to i don't know plan things overly plan things and then get really hard on ourselves when we don't achieve that and I think we could all learn from being a little bit more flexible with ourselves and that's regardless of your abilities to practice self-care or not and if for example you can't practice self-care a lot because of your situation well that's okay too and you shouldn't be hard on yourself for that And I think that's where all these conversations about that, if they're not happening, that it can make you or anyone who can't practice self-care a lot or implement healthy habits, it can make you feel guilty and shame and just not good because you think I should be doing this, but I can't. And then it's this vicious cycle of like constantly being hard on yourself and adding stress to an already stressful life. So Uh, I think we just need to remember that when we talk about self-care and if you're in that situation and you see someone talking about self-care and they don't acknowledge the privileges they have and how you know for them self-care is like kind of easy to implement or easier than for many people then I hope you can like remember that it's not your fault and that you're doing the best you can and you're doing great. So that was my 14 minute video. Um, I think I rambled a little bit, but I hope my point came across. Um, I kind of like this little chatty video. Um, It kind of helps me process my thoughts also. And I'm really, I'm always willing to learn and to listen. So if you have any comments you'd like to make, please leave comments below. Uh, And if you want more sit down chat videos, then please give a thumbs up and the press the notification bell and i'll see you in another video and if you want to partake in my happy habits course then send me a message and i also offer um like if you're you don't have the funds or you work minimum wage or you're a student or you don't have a job or anything like that send me a message and we can 
you know, talk about payment options and I'd be happy to help you out that way. And the program's about being flexible and self-compassionate when it comes to healthy habits. So, um, you know, so they can work for any situation, even if it's just doing one thing once a week, you know, stuff like that. So if you're interested, let me know. And thank you so much for listening, listening to me and I'll see you in a future video. Bye.